evolve. Um, so uh, normally the uh, the program selects the profile there. I don't know why it didn't do it this time, but there's a profile that we're going to revolve. And then we got to click here to get our axis again. That normally happens automatically. I don't know why it's doing not doing it this time. But here's our center axis. Remember that construction line that we drew? So that's what we want to revolve around. And click OK, zoom out, and there's my wheel. Okay, the next thing I have to do is place those slots inside the wheel. Here's how we place the slots inside the wheel. Okay, you're probably looking at it and trying to wonder how in the world am I going to do that. If you look at the wheel below on the wheel page, the bottom wheel, and you see some typical angles, and again, typical measurements doesn't have to be exact, uh, but we want this wheel to be pretty, so we're going to make it exactly the way we see it here in the drawing. Um, to start off with, we want to create a sketch right there on that face. And did you see how am I going to sketch on this face? And then I've got all this other stuff kind of out here on the outer plane. Um, to make things easier so I can work freely, is I'm going to go down here to the bottom bar, very bottom bar, and press on this. It says slice graphics. So that cuts that wheel in half to where I'm strictly looking at that particular plane. Now looking at the drawing of the wheel, if you look uh, as the arrows kind of point to a radius, um, a radius like at the bottom of the slot, you know, the inside portion of the slot, and then another radius at the top outside portion of the slot. Um, of course that radius is concentric to the overall wheel itself, uh, the center of the wheel, um, but at a specific uh, radius from the center uh, point, from the center axis. So to create the radius for those slots, I'm going to start with a circle. I'm going to go right to the center. I'm going to draw the circle out according to the radius that I have indicated on my drawings. So the inside radius of the slots is, uh, it says here, R, which stands for radius, 0 0.375. Now I'm going to double that because I'm doing a whole circle here, not just a radius. I'm doing a diameter. So 0.375 times 2. Okay, there's my first circle. That represents the uh, inside of those slots. Now I'm going to draw another circle. It's going to represent the top portion or the outside radius of the slots. Its radius is R, see down there below on your drawing, R0.65. So I'm going to 0 0.625 times 2 to get my diameter. And there we go. That is the outside diameter of those slots. Now, of course, I need to cut some slots in here. And uh, to make that, I'm going to use some lines. And again, referring to my drawing, um, of course, I know this is a, uh, you know, this is my straight X axis right here going back and forth. My first line for that first slot says that it is uh, 15 degrees above that X axis. So and now I don't have to go all the way to the end here because all I'm really cutting out, I'm going to cut out this stuff right in here. So I can just go to the outer ring right there and I want to, uh, I'm just going to hit tab to go to my other box that shows the degree and I want that to be 15 degrees and click enter alright I'm going to draw another line, I'm going to hit escape first, I'm going to select my line tool, tool again go to the center point and I know I want my line to be 30 degrees from this line Okay. Um, however I know this line is 15 degrees from the x-axis. So if I place this line right here, I really want it to read, I'm going to hit tab, uh, what is 30 plus 15 is 45. So I want that to be a 45 degree angle. And let's see, I need to draw that a little longer. Enter. Okay. And I've got to take out some, some of this geometry here. So again, going to modify, going to the trim tool, which is scissors, and I cut all the unnecessary geometry out. 
I don't need that line. I don't need that line. I don't even need most of these circles. And I don't need that little piece right there, nor do I need that little piece right there. And basically what you have here is the drawing of one of those slots. Now, I can click exit to save what I got, go up to my create panel and choose extrude, and it's going to be a cut, um, choose my profile, and then it cuts my profile. It's already set for one inch, I know that's plenty of distance, so I'm just going to take it like it is and click OK. Now, uh, my next thing here is going to be create a circular pattern out of that slot. So I'm going to go to my pattern tool, choose circular, move my panel over here, I want to select my feature first, just kind of, kind of play with it there, make sure it gets selected, and then I need a rotational axis. Now, of course, I know I put my axis right in here, but it's not showing up right now. I can actually choose any one of these circles, any one of these rims, uh, circles here, to uh, so that the computer will know what axis I'm talking about. So if I just click there, then I get my other slots, and it, it is six slots. Uh, look at the picture there, draw, uh, count them to make sure, but it is six. And then when I click OK, I have more slots.